This is one of those wow stories of a pilot in Poland being hailed as a hero after safely landing a Boeing 767 on its belly when the landing gear failed to deploy. Imagine being on board. The passengers on board that flight, uh, which was a flight which originated here in the U.S., say it was a tense time. That would be putting it mildly. Correspondent Charlie Daggett is in London this morning with more. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica. It is an extremely rare event not only to have all the landing gear fail, but have the backup system fail too. But passenger planes are designed to survive belly landings, especially when you have a pilot like this in the cockpit. It's a crisis every pilot is trained to handle. All would only hope to handle it this well. With the landing gear jammed, the pilot had no choice but to take the Boeing 767 with 231 people on board down without it. With steady hands and nerves, Captain Tudus Verona took the crash out of crash landing, gently setting the belly of the plane down on a layer of flame retardant foam emergency crews sprayed onto the runway. In the last conversation before landing, an air traffic controller says, good luck. Captain Vrona answers back calmly, no landing gear. Nobody on board suffered a scratch. Some passengers say they knew there was a problem with the plane just after takeoff from Newark Liberty International Airport. After pilots circled the airport in Warsaw to burn off fuel, they warned passengers to brace for a rough landing. There was a lot of fear, especially among the women. There were tears. Not all women, apparently. Will you ever get on the plane? Yes, next week to Amsterdam. <laughs> for some, excitement, but for most, just relief. Passengers on the Polish national carrier flight were treated by doctors and psychologists. Boeing says it sent its own investigators to the scene to help figure out what went wrong. Chris? That's CBS's Charlie Daggett in London. Charlie, thank you. Joining us now from Warsaw are two of the passengers, Sofia and Angelica Boriska, a mother and daughter who live outside of Philadelphia and were on that flight. Ladies, good morning to the both of you. Angelica, I'm going to ask you the first question. How fortunate do you feel that you're able to be here talking and doing this interview this morning, considering what happened with that plane? I'm just really lucky to be alive. Like, I just appreciate life a lot more. I was staying on the plane, I was just crying, I was just, I just wanted to get off. I'm so happy I'm able to be here today. Uh, Angelica, at what point did you realize that there were some, some serious problems on board? Well, I didn't really know. No one really knew what was going on. Uh, they just told us, you know, just be prepared for an emergency landing. So they, we flew around Warsaw like a bunch of times and once, once they, um, once they said, you know, be prepared for the emergency landing, we all got into the position. I had my head down. I was just crying. I had a panic attack, actually. So well, well, I had my head down, yeah. and they said that we're about to land. How difficult was it? I mean, Once could, they could said you, we're about to land. Could you stay calm? At all? Was, was, was any passenger on the plane calm? I mean, you said you had a panic attack. What was, the, I guess, the general sense of the rest of the passengers on this flight? Everyone was pretty upset. We didn't, they didn't know what was going on. Everyone was crying around us, you know. Everyone was praying. Um, it was just very sad and emotional. You could see how everyone was just worried about everything. People were um, on the phone. I was scared to pick up my phone. I thought the plane would just fall to the ground since you can't use your phone on the plane. I was just, it's just really, everyone was so upset. Angelica, what are you saying to your mom? In these final moments, when the plane is making this final descent, you know what problems uh, the plane is experiencing. What are you saying to one another? We were just, you know, communicating with each other, saying, you know, I love you, and then just hoping we just get down safe. That was the main thing. We just kept quiet, and just we were just hoping and praying that we were going to be okay. And, and now, I guess the big question, you do land safely with no landing gear. What are you thinking when the, f the plane finally comes to a stop? I still had my head down crying. Everyone else is clapping. Um, then all of a sudden, we hear like the alarm. Everyone gets up. We see smoke, and we just run off the plane as quickly as possible. And they told us to run into the field as far away as you can. When you look back and you looked at the plane, could you believe what, you, what you're seeing? This plane on the ground with no landing gear? No, I, I couldn't believe it. Every, it was just so shocking that, you know, our plane just crashed. 
And now let me ask you this, are you at all nervous about flying home, getting back on a plane? Uh, very, very nervous. I uh, have three weeks here to hopefully relax about it and not have to think about it. But I just hope that I never have to experience that ever again because it's really terrifying. Well, Angelica and your mom, Sophia, there, we're, we're happy that the both of you were safe. And thank you for, for taking the time and speaking with us here this morning. Thank you. Thank you.